report may kindly be quashed and a commission may be appointed to ascertain the truth so that we can make some some and they can make some, some breaks in here, you know. Commission, so how, under what law will we do that? This honorable court can always do so. No, they can ascertain the truth about the matter. No, it can't be remanded to the Supreme Judicial Council. Sir, is that a possibility or it's not? It, it can be, yes. It can be, yes. It can no, I, I want you also to hear thinking about this. Apart from questioning the order of somebody Subarticle 7, there is one problem which I see. Take subarticle 7 before G. 209 subarticle 7. 209 subarticle 7 for late. G. 7 sir, that's 7 ki baat ho rahi hai na. So, usme hai, a judge of the Supreme Court or of a High Court can shall not be removed from office except as provided by this article. Article kya provide karta hai? of a report. The report has to be based on inquiry. So therefore, uh, under clause 7, nee, the uh, 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 admitted fact ho gaya that no one ascertained whether the allegation was factually correct or not. That much is established from what I've been able to understand. Unless somebody says, no, it's not been established. I, I don't think even Khwajir Sahib pushed it to Khwajir Sahib Kanga. Was the one way or the other whether the allegation was true or not? Has it, was it being ascertained or not? It was never inquired into, it was never ascertained. And if that part of the order would be okay, how do we go forward then on this? We are very respectful. Because you know, both can't be telling the truth. No, quite right. Man, yes. They are very humbly subject. The order itself, they have two components, although they are mixed up. As far as I am concerned, they are mixed up in the sense one is with respect to the public speech that was made. Hmm? The, the public speech that was made. That's a separate aspect. This is what I am saying. That may in itself be such a grave crime that you remove him. No, I'm making a or, or nothing implied in the uh, order is the fact that you've leveled such serious allegations against some people which cannot be sustained because no inquiry was held. That goes what is the solution here? May I very respect this is what I was saying that one. May I very respect this bit? The order itself is composed of these two components. One is that a public speech was made. The other is that there was an allegation made or there were some assertions made which were not inquired into against the petitioner. Now that portion cannot be held against the petitioner so far as the STC order is concerned because that was never inquired into. We are only then left as far as this list is concerned, only left with the question whether the public speech that was made was... No, 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 I think we let's live in the real world. The entire eyes of the nation are before us. There are two, three constitutional is involved. One is the at stake is the independence of the judiciary. If I'm sure you will also agree that no judge should be removed without cause. And I'm sure you say will say that. Yes, right. That's true. That's one aspect. The other aspect is there's another constitutional body involved called the Supreme Judicial Council. We ordinarily, the Supreme Court should not interfere in the work of the constitutional body unless there is something so manifestly unconstitutional or unjust. What Mr. Hamid Khan Saab is saying is there was no inquiry held and you are conceding it and the Attorney General is also conceding it. Needless to say, if the statement made was false, he also concede, concedes that the judge should be removed. And the third issue is the Supreme Court itself. We are hearing this case 
Now the question arises, what sort of order we can pass in such circumstances? And uh, I think there's an interconnected, where is the Attorney General? Uh, Attorney General, where is he? Hello, my office check is checked. Office man. बुला लिया करो उनको हां तो जरा ये ओपिनियन तो पढ़िए पेज 70 पे ओपिनियन ऑफ द सुप्रीम ज्यूडिशियल काउंसिल यस पेज 70 पे जी सर कंक्लूजन सर दिस काउंसिल इज यूनानिमसली ऑफ द ओपिनियन स्टैंड इज हियर दैट इन द मैटर ऑफ मेकिंग हिज स्पीच बिफोर द डिस्ट्रिक्ट बार एसोसिएशन राहुल पिंडी ऑन 21 7 2018 Mr. Justice Shaukat Aziz Siddiqui, Judge Islamabad High Court, Islamabad, had displayed conduct unbecoming of a judge of a high court and was thus guilty of misconduct and is therefore liable to be removed from the office under Article 2096 of the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. 2096, which says you inquire into the matter, which was never done. The other uh, portion of this, uh, your lordship may find very relevant, is on page 4950, where they dispense with the inquiry. This was that discussion. So, one thing is that now, this question is that suppose allegation is true. Suppose. क्या ये जिस तरीके से एलिगेशन बयान की गई है जिस तरीके से तक क्या ये एक जज के लिए मुनासिब था ये तो ओपिनियन उनकी ये थी कि चूंकि कर नहीं सकते थे सर इसमें हुआ ये ओनली वन हेरिंग कैमरा डाउन नथिंग एल्स ये तो डिनाइल नहीं आपकी तरफ से तकरीर हुई थी जी तकरीर हुई थी डिनाइल तो नहीं तो ये तकरीर का डिनाइल नहीं जो <laughs> एलिगेशन because i would say on the if otherwise and you you will have to teen is not available to judges that's what i mean okay you may not agree with the judges point of view fine i mean uh, but you will move on that ground uh, i the, the code of conduct doesn't say you can't make a speech mm-hmm. so on it i don't think there's anything wrong per se in making a speech now if you make some speech and you attack launch a vicious attack or loaded attack or whatever you want to call it or you that we cannot we have to read it see it together i mean i can't just say oh making our speech i mean making our speech is your right <laughs> right but it's right and address I mean, is not exact huh? district bar association by the way you may, may be interested not to know the public the, the united kingdom which is so conservative judges give interviews i mean so house of lords i mean you know the, those the restraints have gone far gone and judges of the american supreme court as judges of the supreme court justice stephen bry and justice scalia debates all make public debates were pretty vicious <laughs> on from <laughs> various law schools they were given so let's connect it with the speech now nobody is taking us to the next level what do we do this sir this can we personally ourselves inquire into the matter sir one thing which i just want to point out there were number of speeches made by justice which was published I agree with you on that. Very clearly, you know, I agree with you. It will be. I think it will, is is connected with the content. Yes. If you have given an example to another, uh, I don't want to use the word institution, but it's important. Yes. Uh, whatever uh, department of the government, you can say whatever you want. 
so naturally it is not a nice matter but if they are true it changes i think the complexion of the matter sir page 70 agar dekh lijiyega this is solution main aapko nahi bata rahe nahi sir solution solution to ye hai ki is waqt ye jo order hai president ka based upon the report of the supreme judicial council we need to be quashed amit khan sir is not so simple then we be faced with an allegation that the supreme court through khwaja sahab's clients under the bus and save one of their own again we have to be very fair to both sides because you made allegation targeting specific persons so if we quash it that means effectively means that all that you said was true without an inquiry one way or the other now if we are, how can we i mean uh, you know what we do then so then the uh, answer can be just make a humble submission that let this order of the president be quashed let the report be also quashed and let the matter be remanded back to the supreme judicial council to hold an inquiry that then we can this order be passed i think i believe so हमें असिस्ट करें अगर असुरी जुडिशियल काउंसिल बगैर इंक्वायरी के रिकमेंड कर देती है रिमूवल ऑफ इन ओके आर यू सेइंग इट्स इनहेरेंट इन फंडामेंटल राइट्स एंड ड्यू प्रोसेस यस आर ऑफ रिमांड कैन यू रिमांड द मैटर टू द असुरी जुडिशियल काउंसिल एंड दैट कैन बी कॉन्सिक्वेंशियल ऑन द ऑन द रिक्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ इट कैन बी देयर आर टू वेज नहीं लेट्स सी फायर साहब इज senior counsel let's see what his view is can we remand the matter to the supreme judicial council or we can't i don't may i very humbly make a submission it cannot be done because now there is nothing for the supreme judicial council to like inquire into because the petitioner's tenure has already expired he is no longer goes back he would no longer be a judge to be considered for purposes of removal which is the function of the supreme judicial council so it does not fall within the functions of the supreme judicial council at this stage this is what my very humble sir so what is the solution none this matter requires the determination of me suppose let's suppose we we for don't take it uh, a miss that we set aside the order lot that means that that's implied in the order that all that he said the judge when he was a judge was true so, so you are condemned it won't you be condemned it doesn't imply that but why may i be can you say everything i said was true that was the order was set aside yes. what he said but not so far as the allegations against specific persons are concerned they came up for the first time before the supreme judicial council no no he's been saying it from day one no 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 he hasn't he hasn't the specific allegations against persons by naming them in the incidents also they never figured in the speech they never figured in the preliminary reply that was given to the supreme judicial council it was 